Thank you, Jeff. Well, we continue gardening tips at sunrise today, and we're pretty glad to have Ahmed Hassan in the studio this morning because me, Taylor, and I'm sure you, the viewers, have learned quite a few tips this morning. That's right. We've learned about watering. We've learned about succulents. I learned how to not get my plants all moldy and gross in my apartment. Mm -hmm. You're teaching us a lot, a lot this morning. But our next topic I'm really interested in, um, we can certainly smell it. Are you wanting that? <laughs> I think yeah. we want these. Do you really I want know. We, we you guys are weak. <laughs> you guys are weak. <laughs> okay, but there's some, they want gloves. some pretty nasty things this yeah, morning. It was your I don't stuff want it. too. It is our stuff. I'm sorry. Our trash. Mold is wow. natural. <laughs> Anyways. Wow. <laughs> As we get into the next Germophobes. topic. Germophobes. Yeah, yeah, kind of. A little. It's all right, though. It's all right. That's all right. But what is composting, Oh, I so love compost. Like, we could just talk for hours and hours on compost, but we really don't have that kind of time. So here's the deal. Do you know what potting soil is? This stuff, right? Just right. the soil that's on the So what the is table? that stuff? Take a handful right there. Dig your hand on in there, right? You go to the store, you get a bag of potting soil. You might get a bag of potting mix. Hold it open. You get yours, you get yours. Okay. And tell me, what is that? Um, we'll smell, we'll smell well, it first. Dirt. She puts like on gloves, but she just sticks her nose right into it, right? I mean, traditionally, I isn't it manure. like a manure? Yeah. Okay, there's no not, manure in there. Do you this. smell manure in there? No. You, you could put manure in there, but look at it and tell me what it is. It looks like dirt. Be like pieces it. of wood chips. What's yeah, dirt? wood chips. Wood chips, okay. Wood chips is good. Wood chips are in there. I'm not sure what What's these... the white stuff? I'm not sure. Pearlite. Pearlite. Oh, perlite. That's yeah, it's that like really an expanded white. rock. Okay. Oh, and then what else are you looking at? Sawdust. Oh, sawdust in there. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's sawdust. Oh. It might be some plant parts, it might be some compost. You can dump that right there. So potting soil, planting mix, all the stuff you buy in bags at the store to grow your plants, right? To help your plants. Looks kind of like this, right? Right. It's compost. Is it? This is basically decomposed wood. Okay. So okay. wood has a certain amount of nutrients in it, right? Everything that's organic has nutrients in it. You have nutrients in you. Mm -hmm. If you died and I put you by my plants, your body would decay and you would fertilize my plants. <laughs> Well, it's morbid. that simple. Well, it's morbid, but... <laughs> it's Monday morning. But it's that simple, right? <laughs> you would just be a different blend of fertilizer because you've probably eaten different things. And All so, McDonald's. So, so there it is. <laughs> Not that nutrition. And it, there, there's some nutrition there. So the whole thing is that we all come up with scraps. Mm -hmm. We all waste. Right. We all buy five tomatoes and we eat four and then that exactly. one goes bad yeah. and you throw it in the garbage. Mm -hmm. So here's, here's the deal. Your great-great-grandparents knew all about composting. Primarily because there was no garbage service to go around and pick up your garbage for you. Right. So you had to deal with it at home. And what they did is they put all their green waste together, all their scraps together, and they did a couple of things. You can feed your animals with it. People who have chickens, people who have pigs, they already know this. They feed mm -hmm. all their scraps to their animals. Some people feed scraps to their dogs. We did that when I was a kid growing up. Nobody does it anymore now. Dogs eat dog food, yeah. right? Okay. But the bottom line yeah. is, well, I'm just, there's a disclaimer, right? But as, when I was a kid, dogs ate whatever. Yeah. In third world countries, dogs still eat whatever. whatever. Okay, so here's the deal. When you come up with your green waste scraps, the end of the watermelon, the rinds, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it has a little sticker on it, who cares? Okay. Okay, typically the stickers are like, the glue is like soy based, it's paper, it'll decompose. Okay. Because paper came from where? Trees. Trees. Right, so everything that's organic, everything that was growing once in the earth can go back to the earth, and all of the nutrients that were taken up by that plant when it was growing are right inside of it, and we get these wonderful things called microorganisms. Mm. Which you call bugs, which you call yes. nastiness, which is why you're wearing gloves and I'm <laughs> not. I know you're right. Going to our trash right this now. is organic, right? So <laughs> the only thing you want to take out of your compost pile, and what I what I recommend people do is, and I'm going to save you guys money because I thought I was going to like exploit in the green industry, and I was like, man, I need to start really exploiting like compost. Mm -hmm. I need to exploit <laughs> compost like Starbucks has exploited coffee, <laughs> right? Something that everybody already has. So your green waste scraps, if you put them in a cute little container like I have right here. I have a, this is nothing more than a decorative pot, mm -hmm. right? You can put your house plant in it. I bought a large one and I bought a small one. I bought a small one to put my decorative plant next right. to my compost bin. And on the side of my sink, what is that? Ooh, what someone's muffin. Yeah. Oh, okay. no. Nope. No, no, no meat no products, gloves. right? No. no gloves. Paper, paper was a tree, right? Fruit, oh, scrap, really? tomatoes, Egg shells are good, right? Eggshells are calcium. They never break down, but they break up into little white pieces, kind of yeah. like perlite. Whoop you do, put them in there. Um, when, you, when you finish your McDonald's, what was that? Uh, strawberry lemonade. <laughs> okay, so no animal byproducts, right? Because it wasn't like a strawberry not, smoothie no, with dairy. Just, just so lemonade. that goes in there too, because your compost okay, needs... no animal byproducts. Your, your compost no. needs water. It needs moisture. Oh, we had okay. some water earlier. When you have those little leftover cups of water here, leftover a little bit of tea, even your soda, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's a little bit of acid, sugar, and water, right? It's not animal byproducts. Okay. Put it all in your compost bin on the side of your kitchen sink. Perfect. And when this starts to smell, it's good. dump it. All right. No, don't let it decompose on your sink. That's okay. nasty. Okay. okay. All right. 
And my kids, my kids, they come in, they ask me, they're like, Dad, could you take out the compost? Could you dump it? Because there's flies. I'm like, dump it. Uh-huh. When it stinks, dump it. Okay. When it's flies, dump it. Very good. You can put a little lid on it, but if you put a lid on it, you won't feed it. You won't fill it up. Perfect. Thank awesome. you so much, Ahmed. We've got to go to our break, oh, but we're going to have more. We're I know. Just we getting started. Forever and ever he didn't and even ever. touch the moldy grapefruit. I know. You oh, can grab it, Bianca. You can find more tips on kobi5.com. We'll be right back after this break.